Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, you can probably tell I've got a fat tissue in my nose. My allergies have been going crazy. The thing is, I'm not even ill. Like I said this the other day when I was doing a video. I'm not ill. My allergies, I'm just sneezing loads. My eyes are tearing. You can probably see I look red, puffy. Um, and yeah, before this video, I had a sneezing fit and <laughs> I'm feeling rough. But again, I'm not ill. My throat's not like sore. It's just agitated you know phlegmy all that sort of stuff so if i'm clearing my nose or whatever through this video i apologize i'm doing this here because i'm trying to block out the the snot from running out so you'd have to see that stuff but yeah i'll probably be sniffling a bit but um who cares man i'm here i'm all good and we are doing a reaction to why tornado alley is moving east i mean i don't know if it's actually moving but i mean i guess over time there are more and more tornadoes or like ef5 like tornadoes that cause a lot of damage happening on the east side of america or the south but in the south but on the east side of america as opposed to the um tornado alley that's like near oklahoma the midwest etc but we're going to check this out and see because i mean i don't fully know the details of this but i guess it maybe is like slowly gradually moving to more of the east and you're seeing in the news and stuff where a lot of the big tornado tornadoes are like in comparison to like Oklahoma, which is the place I assume is always seen as like the number one state, it's there's more stories now in other states. But um, we're gonna check this out and see. Um, links also in the description to my Patreon where you can see reactions that I can't post to YouTube. A lot of weather reactions, obviously, I can't post to YouTube because of copyright, movies, TV series, all that stuff. Links are there. But let's check this out. The United States gets far more tornadoes than anywhere else on the entire planet, with more than 1,400 confirmed touchdowns just last Touchdown. year. Touchdown! That isn't anything new. Americans have witnessed this kind of destruction for centuries, with the nation's first tornado being reported back when the United States was just 13 British colonies, with then-Massachusetts Governor John Winthrop recording America's first sighting in 1643. Over the following centuries, several other tornadoes were reported from the first confirmed touchdown some 28 years later, also in New England, to a massive outbreak across the southeastern United States in April of 1883. Though it wasn't until March 17, 1952 that the U.S. Weather Bureau would provide its first tornado forecast, which included East Texas, Southern Arkansas, and much of Louisiana. That report was oh. close, but touchdowns were ultimately limited to north-central Texas. However, just five days later, the Mississippi Valley was struck by one of the nation's worst historic outbreaks up to that point, with 31 different cyclones dragging all across this area and with several of them being outright massive. Starting a new era, with March 21st, 1952 being the first time the word tornado was uttered on U.S. airwaves. Recent years have brought immense changes in tornado activity throughout the United States, though as we are seeing stronger, more concerted outbreaks more often, with severe storms happening at perhaps a lesser frequency, but at a much greater scale. As particularly dangerous hail, wind, and tornado events have swept across the U.S., causing record-breaking havoc for an increasingly substantial amount of American families. With last year being a historic year, where tornadoes caused more than $5.7 billion in damages, and with this year already looking to be just as, if not even more, concerning. Of course, North America isn't the only continent to experience tornadoes. No, tornadoes have been seen in every permanently inhabited continent within just the last year, Dust with them. all of Europe seeing about 300 tornadoes annually, a meaningful figure about three times- Oh, Italy gets the most tornadoes by far. ...times greater than similarly sized Canada, but just a small portion Wait, of- am I reading it right? Yeah. ...three times greater than similarly sized Canada, but just a small portion of the 1,300 or so the United States typically endures each year. But the United States itself doesn't see equal distribution either. No, from potential risk to documented touchdowns, this portion of the U.S. receives vastly more tornadoes than anywhere else. But Tornado Alley, a term that has been used to describe roughly this area since the phrase was first coined back in 1952, has absolutely lived up to its horrific name, with these states accounting for more than 30% of all touchdowns, despite making up just 15% of U.S. landmass. While Tornado Alley has been the home of more tornadic activity than anywhere else in the United States, with conditions nearly perfect for the formation of severe weather and especially large destructive tornadoes, 
as the warm Gulf waters to its south and the Rocky Mountains that stretch along its west from Canada all the way down to New Mexico blow warm air up and cool dry air over and across these plain states while the powerful jet stream flows across them, breaking atmospheric stability while allowing for significant rotation. I didn't know the Rocky Mountains had such a big involvement. I thought it was just because of the north of Canada, cold air, and obviously the south warm air. I thought it was just that sort of collision of things that caused it but it's the rocky mountains are involved i didn't know that rotation and at first i thought that would be about it this is tornado alley and this is how it's almost perfect for the convection of these powerfully destructive storms where atmospheric conditions can become very unstable enabling the formation of isolated supercells capable of producing the worst possible outcomes in just a moment's time potentially forming tornadoes capable of major community-wide destruction that can travel paths in excess of 200 miles. But even as the heightened ingredients of moisture, lift, instability, speed, and directional shear come together in Tornado Alley more often than anywhere else on Earth, growing trends from recent data suggest that Tornado Alley is shifting and expanding eastward. But before we look at how Tornado Alley has moved east while also becoming more treacherous than ever, it's important to understand how tornadoes are rated. Tornadoes are ranked on what's known as the Enhanced Fujita Scale, which is based on a combination of estimated wind speeds and related damages. The EF scale starts at zero, which is considered light, with winds that reach a maximum of 85 miles per hour. An EF1... Oh, EF0 can be 85 miles per hour. That's still quite high, isn't it? Tornado is considered moderate, with winds up to 110 miles per hour. I guess we'll see in comparison to like EF4s, EF5s, whether it is actually, because I feel like EF4s are like 200 plus. EF2s are considered significant with wind speeds up to 135 miles per hour. While things get more concerning with an EF3 capable of considerable damage with wind speeds of up to 165 miles per hour. And EF4 and EF5 up tornadoes to are known for being particularly devastating, okay. with EF5s being capable of causing absolutely incredible damage. But while this area, where the plurality of U.S. tornadoes had hit from 1950 to 1980, is still a hotbed for tornadic activity, Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas are the only states located within the original tornado alley. Oh, so it had. Oh, okay. So it had actually moved then. So it is still moving. That's crazy. So it is just a thing that over time, with how I guess how the world heats and cools, you know how the Earth just constantly, over time, will change into certain aspects. It is actually causing this to move that is wild that would still fit the model of u.s states where the most and worst tornadoes happened from 1989 to today while these states from western missouri over through portions of kentucky up to illinois and indiana and down past tennessee and into mississippi and alabama have significantly greater activity than places like nebraska or south dakota in those more recent decades as tornado alley looks to be growing out as it shifts east and southeastward creating a catastrophic recipe for millions of Americans, as cities like Nashville, Louisville, St. Louis, and Indianapolis are all major population centers. While this whole area is much less tornado aware, and more importantly, less tornado alert, something compounded by the fact that much of this more eastern activity happens after nightfall when folks are winding down or sleeping. And the tornadoes happening in this new tornado alley have become much more concentrated and sprawling, with slightly less severe weather days, but with weather events being much more active God, and damn. capable of potentially producing more tornadoes across a much larger area, where substantially more people live. With more historic events, more particularly dangerous situations, and even more destruction, you may have noticed the several storms that have already created widespread damage across this area within just the past month starting out in Oklahoma and Kansas, but moving eastward into Missouri, Arkansas, Kentucky, and Illinois. With storms this Memorial Day weekend producing a rare PDS watch for much of that entire region as two massive systems pushed across the area. Oh, which just ended really suddenly. Um, I find this channel, the video is just sort of, I mean, they tell you some things, but they just don't, it doesn't really go in depth. Um, although to be fair, the, I, the sort of the thing of um, how it is moving over time and how the original the original tornado alley was in a bit further um, west, it is kind of crazy how it is over time genuinely shifting. But then again, I always feel like stories, not all the time, but a lot of the time, 
it's always like southern states, like states that aren't necessarily in Tornado Alley. They're in their own sort of alleys where tornadoes are obviously still very prominent. But I always feel like the big stories come from that region where like these outbreaks happen and all these things. But maybe I'm just not thinking about it 100%. To be fair, I feel like there's there was one of the outbreak videos I reacted to on my Patreon was to do with like Oklahoma, Nebraska, etc. So I guess that sort of goes against what I'm saying. But yeah, there we go. Tornado Alley is moving. Maybe in 200 years time, it will be over New York City um, or Miami. I don't know. I mean, imagine Miami being in Tornado Alley. You've got flipping the hurricanes and all the stuff that happened there throughout, throughout the year, all the storms. And then you've got tornadoes as well. No, thank you. But yeah, that's this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. And until next time, like, subscribe and peace.